In this video, we're going to learn how to repeat a string using C. So in languages like Python, we have this idea of repeating a string. So in Python, if we have ABC and then star three, what this will do is give us the string ABC, 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 where the original string has been repeated three times. We'll implement this in C. Now, one simple way to implement this is using sprintf. So let's say, for example, that we have a car array called string. And into the car array string, we'll store the string ABC. Now, in total, the car array string is going to have four characters because we're going to have ABC. Then we'll have the special null terminator character at the end of the string, backslash zero. Now, for example, if we want to repeat the string twice, we could declare a car array called repeat string of length seven. And we have length seven here because we're going to have ABC followed by ABC, which is going to be six characters. Then we need a seventh character for the null terminator character. So we could use sprintf to actually produce this repeating string. We could call sprintf. And sprintf works a lot like printf, but printf is going to output the string that's produced to what's called standard output, which by default is going to be the terminal. With sprintf, we supply as a first argument something like a car array where the string that's produced is going to be placed. So here we'll have repeat string as our first argument. Then from here on, it works like printf where we have our format string. In this case, we'll have percent %s followed by percent %s to put a string followed by a string. Then we'll have string and string to put the string twice. So this is going to produce the string with string ABC followed by string ABC. And it's going to be stored into the repeat string car array. Then we could output that repeating string. We could have printf and we'll have repeat string colon percent s to output a string followed by backslash n for a new line and we'll output repeat string. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll get the repeating string ABC followed by ABC. So this technique does work. But in this case, we knew at compile time when we wrote the program exactly how many times we wanted to repeat the string. We also knew exactly how large the string was, so we knew exactly how large to make the car array to store the repeating string. Now let's handle the more difficult case of repeating a string where the length of the string and the number of times to repeat the string could be determined at runtime. This will involve dynamic memory allocation, so we'll include the stdlib.h library to help us. This library includes the function malloc, which allows us to dynamically allocate memory, as well as the function free, which allows us to free that memory. We'll also include the string.h library, because this library includes a couple useful functions, including the string length function, strlen, which is going to return the length of a string, and the strcat function, which is going to concatenate strings. Then we'll create a function called repeat to create the repeating string. The function is going to be passed the string to repeat as an argument. We'll have the parameter car star string for that argument, where the type of this parameter is pointed to a car, because technically the function is going to be passed the memory address of the first character in the string to repeat. The function will also be passed as an argument the number of times to repeat that string. So we'll have the parameter int repeats for that number of times to repeat the string. Then the function is going to return a pointer to a car. So we'll have car star for the return type. And that's because the function is going to dynamically allocate space on the heap to store the repeated string. It's going to return a pointer to that string. It's going to return the memory address of the first character in that string. Then we could implement this function down here. We'll copy this and paste it down here. Now it's possible that string could be set to null, which is essentially a pointer to nothing, and we can't really repeat a string if we have no string to repeat. Also, if repeats is less than or equal to zero, we can't really do anything in that case either because we can't repeat a string zero times, and we can't really repeat a string negative times. 
So we'll check for these cases. If the string pointer is equal to null, or if repeats is less than or equal to zero, in these cases, we're just going to return null because we can't really produce a string in these cases. Next, we want to dynamically allocate enough space in memory to store the repeating string. To do this, we'll need to know how many characters are in the original string. We can use the string length function to determine this. We'll call the string length function strlen and we'll pass it our string. This is going to return the number of characters in the string, not including the special null terminator character that ends the string. And we can store that length into a variable of type int called length. Now let's imagine that our string is abc, which is going to be three characters in length. And let's imagine that we're going to repeat that string three times. We're going to need three times three plus one characters worth of space in memory to do that. Let's visualize that. We'll have here our original string. We'll have string with a and then b and c and the null terminator. We'll have the indexes 0, 1, 2, and 3. And then if we allocate space for a new string, we're going to need 10 characters worth of space in memory. So we would need 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 for our additional indexes because this new string is going to be A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, and then the null terminator to end the string. So what we'll need is length times number of repeats amount of space plus one more character for the null terminator. And we can use the malloc function to do this. So we'll call malloc and we'll pass it length times repeats plus one. And malloc actually allocates space in car sized units. So this will give us enough space in memory to store length times repeats plus one number of characters. And it's going to return a pointer to that space in memory. And we can store that into a car pointer variable called new string. Now, if malloc fails, it's going to return null, and we could check for that. So, if new string is equal to null, in that case, we're just going to return null because we can't do anything. Otherwise, if new string is not null, then we have successfully allocated enough space to store our new string. Then, what we'll do to create the repeating string is start new string off as the empty string. The string with zero actual characters, just the null terminator. Then we'll concatenate string into new string repeats number of times. So we'll have here new string at the index zero is equal to the null terminator character. And now new string is the empty string. And we know that we want to have at least one repeat of this string in new string. So we'll use a do while loop to perform the string concatenations because we know the do while loop body is going to execute at least once. So down here, we'll have our do while loop. We'll have do while repeats is greater than zero. And each time in the loop body, we're going to perform the string concatenation using the strcat function. So we'll have strcat and we'll have new string and string, and this will concatenate string onto new string and store the results into new string. And with each loop iteration, we'll also decrement repeats by one. So we'll have repeats minus minus. So imagine that repeats is three. We'll have here repeats is set to three. Then what will happen is in the first iteration of the loop, we're going to concatenate string to new string and store the results into new string. So we'll have this here, ABC followed by the null terminator. Then repeats gets decremented by one and repeats is now going to be two. Because repeats is still greater than zero, this loop will continue. Again, we'll take this string, we'll concatenate it to new string, and now it's going to look like this. Repeats gets decremented, and then again, we'll concatenate this string onto new string, it now looks like this, repeats is now zero, and the loop stops, and we're done our work. Then we can just return new string with return and new string. We can now test this function out. Up here in main, 
we'll call our function. We'll now have car star returned string to declare a car pointer variable to store our function's return value. We'll call our function repeat. We'll pass it our string as well as three to repeat the string three times. Then we'll output the result using printf. We'll have printf and return string with percent %s to output a string, followed by a new line with backslash n, and we'll output the returned string. And finally, because we're using dynamically allocated memory, we'll call free and pass it the pointer to our string to free that dynamically allocated memory. So we'll pass that return string here. Then if we save compile and run the program, we'll get the repeated string ABC, ABC, ABC. Now technically, the string length function strlen is going to return size underscore t type values, where size underscore t is a type that can store non-negative integers, and potentially much larger integers than an int type variable can store. So to improve this, what we could do is change length to have the type size underscore t. And as long as we're doing this, we might as well change the type of repeats to also be size underscore t. So here we'll have size underscore t, and because size underscore t can only store non-negative integers, we don't have to worry about repeats being less than zero. We'll still check to make sure that repeats is not zero. And up here, we'll change the function declaration. We'll also have size underscore t here, and the function will work the same. So if we save, compile, and run the program, we'll still get the repeating string ABC, ABC, ABC. So this is how we can repeat a string using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.